Hey guys, good morning. I cannot tell you how many clients are asking about arm work. What can I do to sculpt my arms, get more definition, and of course, get more strength? You guys, there's so many things we can do with our arms at home. I've got a pair of light weights and I have a pair of kind of medium weights. If you don't have weights, find something that you can use like water bottles, um, books, anything that you could use that you could hold on to. And if you don't have anything like that, just going through the motions with your arms is going to make a difference. So let's get started first, you guys, with a little bit of warm up. We're going to move the arm back just like this to get some movement into the shoulder. I'd like you to go back maybe six to eight times and then go forward as well. This shoulder for me is a little bit wonky, so I am keeping the elbow bent. If you can do a straight arm, try that. Make sure you have enough space so that you don't hit the wall and make sure that you're moving in as big a range of motion as you possibly can. So remember we go back and we go forward. I know you're gonna find one way that feels better to you. Make sure you do both, good. And then roll the shoulders like this, trying to get a little um, attention to your neck and then again, roll forward. Just getting movement here is gonna feel so good. All right, shoulders gonna go down by your side. We're gonna move the head a little bit. Again, releasing the neck, always a good thing to do. You slept on it kind of funny or you're just holding tension there, it happens. Good. All right, now let's give ourselves some nice hugs. Again, make sure you have room. One arm on top, other arm on top. Notice what you feel. One side might feel better than the other. It's a great way to just get warmed up, get some blood flow, raise the core temperature. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. Good. Finish up with four more. Last two here. And my last one, I just shake it out a bit. Nice. We're gonna move the wrists around. You might notice your forearms. Flex and point through the wrists, good. So circles, flexing back and forth and wiggling the fingers, opening and closing your hands. So you'd be surprised how a lot of time on the computer can create issues in the forearm, the wrist, and the hands. And then when you're gonna grab onto those weights, you're gonna wanna make sure that you can hang on to them with a tight enough grip that you're not gonna lose it, but um, uh, not so tight that you're just putting all that tension here, right? Okay, let's take one arm up. We're gonna do a little stretch here for the tricep and pull in, keeping the arm next to the ear, elbow up. Kind of spread those ribs out wide. Nice. As you release, take the same arm directly across and then pull in. Be careful that you're not leaning, that you're not shrugging into the shoulder, that you're just pulling in and giving a lovely stretch. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Take your other arm up by your ear, then bend, use your fingertips, pull in a little closer, and then you can take a little bit of a side bend to get into the side body and ribs. Triceps, good. And really shake it out again. Nice job, you guys. Let's open up here, give a little squeeze. This is kind of a back bend exercise, but it's also gonna stretch out the shoulders in the front, the anterior deltoid. So squeezing back and holding. Good, if it's too much, release your arms close to your body, and then when you're ready to pull the arms away from your body, squeeze a little bit more, and we'll do that one more time. Take a little moment to release, and then pull back and squeeze. Oh, good job, and release, good. So when we work the arms, we wanna work biceps, we wanna work triceps, those are the opposing muscles. Biceps are bigger, stronger. Triceps are smaller, weaker. So we're gonna work both of those, and of course we wanna work the shoulders. So let's get started with our light weights. Arms by our side, feet nice and level on the floor, about hip width apart. So if you wanna lift, begin by lifting to the side. As you lift, take your arms out parallel to your shoulders without shrugging into the shoulders. Now, if this is too intense for you, if you want to uh, let go of those weights, put those down, um, or you can take a bent elbow like this. So same exercise with a bent elbow. This works as well. Maybe you want to go with a heavier weight. You might need to bend the elbow. So decide what works for you. And each exercise, we're going to go for about a minute. All right, after you've done a minute, take the arms out to the side, and let's do some little circles, just like this, without shrugging the shoulders, without losing the neck. Keep that space between your earlobes and your shoulders. 
I'm just reaching out and doing little circles straight out from my shoulders. So we'll go for about a minute here and then we're going to change it up and go the opposite direction. If you need to take a break in between, totally fine. It's all cumulative. Just make sure that you're doing all of these exercises. So a minute for one direction and a minute for the other direction. Good. Take it out into cactus arms, pressing up and down. Now on this one, you might want to go with a heavier weight. If not, stay with me here. And remember, if you don't have weights, just going through the motions with your arms is going to make a difference, I promise. So we'll take it a minute here. Good. After you've done a minute, take it out to the front and do the same thing, pressing forward and pulling back, keeping the shoulders down. Remember to draw the belly in strong. Core first, arms second. Nice. So we'll go for a minute here. Then taking the arms out, take it up to cactus arms and take it back to the front. So we're working into the shoulders really, really good for that rotator cuff. Try to find the balance between forward and up and open it up as much as you can. It's going to roll that shoulder back and build strength. So we'll go for a minute there. Good. Got it? Now, let's bring it together. Take it up overhead, bending the elbows, squeezing your arms in close to your body, and then straightening up all the way. Bending as back as far as you can and extending all the way. Now for me, this one's a little rough on my right shoulder. Got something going on there. So if this one doesn't work for you, let me show you another option. You can take it this way. I like to take one foot forward, one foot back. Lean in without rounding, right? And keep that spine extended and then start with your weights way back here by your hips. Pull the elbows behind you and then as you lean in, you'll work against gravity and the weights that you're holding by extending and bending. Heart lifted and belly in. Keep that spine long. Keep your eyes right out in front. Notice as you extend those elbows, you really feel that work in the back of your upper arm. These are your triceps, and I really, really recommend that you do a minute of these as well. Good. Now, we're gonna move on to biceps. Biceps, I definitely like to use the heavier weights. So if you have heavier weights, grab those now. All right, hammer curls, arms by the side, heads of the weight facing forward and back. We're gonna curl all the way up, and then press all the way back down. So you're bending into the elbow, drawing those weights up to the shoulders, and then all the way back down, extending your elbows completely, and allowing the arms to come back by your side. Very important not to swing. Don't use momentum. You want to keep your core solid, strong, and still. And as you curl up, see if you can squeeze. And as you come down, resist. So no matter what weight you're using, you can make this harder by activating and engaging your muscles through your mind. That means you've got to really think about squeezing in tight and resisting down. Good. So these are hammer curls. Let's change this up slightly by externally rotating the shoulders, taking the knuckles towards you and the fingernails away. I'm keeping my arms next to my body on this one as well. Keeping the elbows close to your waist, not behind you. And again, as you curl up, give a nice squeeze. Lower down, all the way to extend, and squeeze up. Good. So one minute of each of those. Nice. Now, let's bring it here and up to the front. Little tiny pumps. I'm hugging my arms in next to my ribs. My elbows are right next to my waistband. Little tiny lifts, just little tiny pulses. It's good to do all kinds of exercises, get those muscles to wake up and do different things. You never want your muscles to get so used to what you're doing that they no longer respond. So we'll do a minute like this. Good. And then we're gonna take one arm all the way down and one arm all the way up to squeeze. Notice how my other arm is staying here, stable, static, and still. Good. So we'll do four to six on this side, and then try the other side, just like this. All the way down, squeeze all the way up, take it down, and hug all the way up. You got it, guys. After you do four to six here, come back and repeat. Same thing on the other side. Curling all the way up and all the way down. Good, you got it. 
make sure that you do the same amount on both sides. We're trying to balance our body and keep everything even. Now, one more thing. Now we're gonna hug into the middle, elbows hug into the side body, then open as wide as you can. Hug back together. Good. It's a really fun dynamic exercise that works all kinds of muscles all at once. I love to be efficient. I love to get more bang for my buck. So as we open up, we're externally rotating the shoulders, giving a little stretch in the front, and then giving that nice squeeze in the back. And by the way, holding the weights just up like this in this position is gonna be challenging as well. Awesome job, you guys. So we worked shoulders, we worked biceps, and we worked triceps, you guys. Shake it out a little bit. Nice, you can go back, finish with some of those circles that we did at the beginning. And that's it, 10 minutes. You've got 10 minutes, grab some weights, grab some water bottles, do something now to build some strength and definition in your arms. I promise you won't be sorry. I will see you next time, guys. Make it a great day.